smoking off. Pretty cool here in the middle part of North Carolina. Um, got a good north breeze coming, but I got grass that's got to be cut. So, we're going to cut some today. Let's get it apart and see how bad it is messed up. So, got her up on the jack. She sounds okay. Obviously we got some loose there, so I've already broken my lugs loose. I'm going to get the wheel off. I'm going to start taking this center wheel out. Hub, rather. Well, at least she's full of grease. Um, it doesn't, well, it's, it's a little brown. I guess that's probably some rust, water, what are not in there, but um, let's keep digging, see what we find. Well, I... Pulled the cocker pin and tightened, tightened her up. And I don't dislike the way she feels and sounds. It's weighted because I So after I put it back together, I got to thinking about it and I didn't like the way it sounded with the tire on it rolling. Um, immediately when I got this hub off, I dropped my bearing in the dirt. But it has been replaced at some point. It's a Tempkin. Of course, that's fine. I have no problem with that, especially since this is one of those USA Tempkins. I think maybe now they're not made in the United States anymore. I don't really know. Um, but the front one, uh, the grease that's on it, it's got grease on it. It's not real pretty, but uh, it's on it. But when we go over here, let's go back to the spindle here. So my outside race actually feels really good. Um, it's a little bit dry, but it feels really good. My bearing, well, you can see it. It's, I suppose I've seen drier ones, but um, for as much grease as was piled up in the... Uh, and all uh, is pretty dry and the rollers are kind of ready to fall out of it I, I don't think this thing is supposed to come apart but maybe it is but I actually the first time I grabbed it I got two pieces of the outer sleeve with the rollers in them came out um, my race in here though does feel pretty good I don't think I've done any damage I'm going to get some pieces ordered, get some bearings ordered. Um, certainly this one. I'm going to clean the other one up and see what it feels like. But um, I'm glad I decided to change my mind. I, I think I feel a lot better about actually doing this the right way. So, all right, I'm still sorry about the wind, but um, it's just the way it is today. So the inside bearing, obviously. Time to replace it. it um, 
has a quite a bit of play in it. In fact, this Timken feels pretty good. I've sort of started cleaning it up, but then I noticed that this end or this part of the outer, I guess the roller keeper, whatever this would be called, is flattened down. So I guess I'll be replacing it too. My races, there's not a lot of light here really to see it look okay. I think those are replaceable. The inner one, I don't, I don't really remember whether it is or not. I still got some cleaning to do, but um, I guess we'll be looking through a parts book and uh, ordering some parts. Anyway, guys, that's where we're staying right now. Well, on the list of things bearings aren't supposed to do, I think come apart is one of them. Uh, I feel like I'm really, really lucky that I caught this before it. Made a big mess out of that spindle on the front end of that farm. I'll 